Welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing two wooden diamond painting pens from Eriside Crafts. So anybody who has watched some of my videos will know that I do enjoy diamond painting pens. I have quite a collection and I'm always looking for things that are different. Um, today I am unboxing two pens that are very different for me. Um, has anyone ever heard of Flame Box Elder or Spalted Tamarind? I had never heard of either. But I have now, in here, got two pens that are made of these woods. So they came from Eriside Crafts, uh, a company that I know very well now. Um, I have quite a few pens from them. And the main reason for that is I find these the most comfortable pens to use. And I am not affiliated, I am not getting paid or anything. I bought these pens at full price. Uh, there's, there's nothing like that. It's just that these are the most comfortable pens for me. And I know that everybody is different, but I'll let you see them. I haven't opened them. I am really curious to see how they turned out. All I did was chose uh, the, the blanks and I have no idea how they actually uh, ended up. So, what a note. Thank you for your purchase. I'm surprised uh, I don't have again at the end. As I said, I do have quite a few from Eosite Crafts. So, which one will I open first? Um, I'll go with this one. So, as I said, uh, these are two different types of wood for me. And uh, I just, I saw the blanks and I thought, they look really nice. Uh, I wonder how they would turn out as diamond painting pens. So this is the first one and I don't know what it is. Okay, I do now. This is Flame uh, Box Elder. And it gets the name Flame um, because of this redness in the wood. This is not dyed. This is natural wood that hasn't been dyed uh, to give this effect. So this time, instead of looking for ones that had um, things in them, like seashells and flowers and all that kind of thing, I was looking for something totally natural, just wood, um, that hasn't been tweaked or painted or anything. So this is uh, Flame box elder, and again with these things, every single one is different. So if if I got another one made, it would look different from this. For example, it wouldn't have this little mark. It wouldn't have these two stripes here. Um, it may have more or less red, and that's the thing you you don't know exactly what you're getting until you get it. So <clears throat> the reason. Uh, that I really like these pens is because of this bulb. When I hold the pen, I have my two fingers here and I sit my thumb on top of the bulb. It means I'm not squeezing the pen to hold it and I just find it extremely comfortable. Um, I found out about Eriside Crafts through Melissa, who is in the Diamond Painting Gym Facebook group. And she happened to mention that her dad makes uh, diamond painting pens. He has been making writing pens, uh, wooden writing pens, for a long time. And Melissa, when Melissa started diamond painting, she said to him, could you make me a pen um, for diamond painting? So the first thing he said was, what is diamond painting? And how do you use the pen? So. Um, she showed him what she did and he thought about it, went to his workshop and came up with this design. And uh, to me it's perfect, it's, it's 
functional, it's not uh, all bling and flash, uh, it's just practical, functional pen, no multiplacer, I didn't want a multiplacer, um, I just don't use them, and I just like the sort of classic style of these pens. As I said, I do have quite a few uh, of different woods and uh, some acrylic and some hybrid, which is a combination of acrylic and wood. But this time I just went browsing looking for uh, wood types that I had never seen before. Um, this may be a very, very common wood uh, in America. I don't know, um, but you do not get it in Denmark. So um, something a bit different. So that's that one, and we'll have a look at the second one, which is the one that I'm really interested in, because it's a spalted wood, it's spalted tamarind, and the blanks looked uh, really cool. I like the spalted effect um, because of the black lines to it, and they are all different. I like that. So again, this is totally natural. These lines aren't um, painted on it or anything like that. Um, totally unique. I really like this one. Um, I just, I just like the fact that every pen is different. Again, we've got the bulb, um, which I find very comfortable. I actually asked, uh, asked uh, to. Um, if they could make them a bit chunkier. Uh, I got one pen that was a bit thicker than the rest and I found that I really liked that. So I measured it, um, like the geek I am, and asked uh, if Moss's dad could make pens that size, and that's what he's done. So uh, this, uh, yeah, I, I really like this one. I think this is going to be my new favourite until the next one but you can see just very unique and I really like the spalted effect yep this is my new favourite favourite so Erie Sidecrafts um, if you uh, are thinking about maybe getting a custom pen you can get in touch with Melissa through the Diamond Painting Gym Facebook group. All you have to do is join and just uh, put up a message saying I'm looking for a custom pen and Melissa uh, I'm sure would be able to help. They do have wooden pens, acrylic pens, hybrid pens and you can ask for uh, a double-ended pen. Um, I just really like this style. And as I said, I don't use multiplacers, so um, you won't really see them. I do have one uh, that has the double end, but um, I prefer uh, this style. So that's it. Another very nice pen. Thank you very much, Melissa's dad. So another two pens from Erieside Crafts. Um, people may say, why get a custom pen? Uh, I know that a lot of people stick with the pink pen uh, that comes with the kit and I did use uh, the pink pen for I think five months before I started to have a look at these custom pens and decided to, to try one. Um, the thing is, the this is the standard pen and the standard thickness. And then this is this particular one, my new favourite one. Um, you can see there's a big difference in the thickness of them. And the fact that this has the waist and the bulb, there's various ways you can hold the pen, whereas if you're using this, it's just basically a straw. Some people may find that their hand gets uncomfortable or even painful holding a pen like this for, for a long period of time. Um, people tend to go for thicker pens uh, because they are more comfortable. So that is the reason why maybe you would get one. The other reason is they look nice. 
some people buy them just because of the way they look and that's pretty much it they, they just like them and I definitely fall into that category I didn't have any problems with the pink pen so when people say you, you don't need any other pen they are absolutely right um, I just like to collect them and um, people collect various things my thing now uh, happens to be diamond painting pens so um, as I said if you're maybe thinking about getting one um, you can contact Melissa through the Diamond Painting Gym Facebook group and if you have any ideas of uh, what you want um, she can maybe help you out with that and uh, as I said you can get wooden ones which tend to be lighter uh, acrylic ones and hybrid ones hybrid ones are a combination of wood and acrylic the acrylic ones are just acrylic um, but they come in various various colors uh, unlimited really um, the acrylic ones are the heaviest so some people may like a heavier pen some people may like a lighter pen so again it's up to you uh, all of them are heavier than your plastic straw but the main thing is the comfort um, this is much 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 more comfortable to hold for a long time than this so that's it but as I said a lot of people use the pink pen and are quite happy with it they would rather spend their money on another diamond painting than a pen and that is totally up to them so that's it for today if you enjoyed watching the video and you want to see more unbaggings unboxings comparisons pens uh, anything to do with diamond painting please subscribe and hit the notification button if you do that you may catch me on YouTube live I do random lives I don't have a set day or time it's just when I can fit it in and normally I'm working on uh, whatever the project is at the time the past uh, two I've sort of thrown in some small ones uh, that, that I finished in a day um, but the main project that I'm working on at the moment is called the Hoverfly which is a custom and it has 89 colours I am getting close to finishing that so my next live probably I'll be working on that um, and then I will be gearing up for my Drills and Chills Halloween one which is another custom so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video in the meantime Take care, be safe and wash your hands.